Ashley and I'm back with another tutorial and this is going to be a eyeshadow 101 type of situation um, I'm just going to really thoroughly go through all of my eyeshadow steps that I take and how I basically like got good with eyeshadow basically if that made any sense, just keep on watching. <laughs> I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hill Dip Brow and I'm going to be doing my eyebrows with this. too handsy with the dip brow and made my brows a little on the dark side they were low-key stressing me out can't even take it you know just keep brushing them through thinking it's gonna make it lighter but it sure will i am disgusted you better talk to her before i do because i'm hard of feelings to clean up my brows, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep. <laughs> Since we're done our eyebrows, we're just going to jump right into the eyeshadow. And basically, step one to this is basically finding what works best with your eye shape i know my eye shape and because i have hooded eyes i get to create and define my crease a little bit more doing cut crease looks whether it's the full cut crease or half or what it doesn't matter it just always looks good on my eye shape um if you do have a more defined crease it's probably much easier to do a cut crease take less colors less definition i would say and some people also wear a lot of halo looks because that what works for their eyes so basically just find what type of look works best for your eye and now we're just going to just start talking about color because first things first you don't want to just jump in and go in with a dark color and then put something light over top of it thinking that the light color going to just you know dilute the dark color that's not how anything works when you're using eyeshadow you want to start with either a transition shade or a lighter color if you're doing like purple blues greens pinks yellows orange things like that that you need a little depth to them so today i'm going to be doing a pink cut crease so i'm going to take this bright pink shade from my morphe 35s palette so i'm just going to take this hot pink shade onto my brush and i'm going to put that a little bit above where my crease would be oh and also a tip and a little trick to figure out where your crease is if you are unaware what a crease is or what it what it where it is on your eyes it is basically at the top ball of your eye if you tilt back if you tilt your head back a little bit, you will see where your crease falls. And mine's fall right about here. But because I have hooded eyes, you can't just see it directly straight on. So I'm going to take my light color and I'm going to put this down first. when you're at home doing this you don't have to use pink you could use whatever color you would like green purple yellow whatever whatever you want to do or whatever you're trying to do you could just take the steps that I'm doing and apply it to whatever you're doing now that we have our first shade down now we're just going to focus on deepening the crease now this is where stuff starts to get a little important 
and you want to really take your time with this part for my next shade i'm going to be taking love letter from the anastasia beverly hills minor renaissance palette and i'm going to put this shade into my crease but just a touch lower i do want it to go over this bright pink a little bit but not too much A touch darker so this pink right here the shade the shade love letter it's not like bright bright pink it's just a probably a shade deeper than the first pink that I just put on probably like two shades deeper than the shade I done put on already now when you're focusing on creating a crease for hooded eyes or if you already have a crease and you know you just want to learn how to do eyeshadow, it is very important to understand the colors that you're working with and what colors work best with one another. So since I'm doing pinks, like a pink cut crease, I'm going to stick in a realm of like pink going into like fuchsias and purples a little bit because they're not only are they kind of complementary to each other, but they, they'll blend out better together. And purple will also help me to go deeper without having to use black in my crease. So always remember to use colors that are complementary to each other that will also create that definition, but also it's still very easy to blend out. You want to follow in a gradient effect for best results. I'm gonna take Rockstar from the Jaclyn Hill Volt Palette collection and I'm going to also put that into my crease. I'm gonna change my brush. Now I wanna get a little tighter with this color. So I'm gonna change my brush to a smaller, fluffier brush like this one. Dip into it, you know, tap the excess off. And I'm going to push this directly into my crease where I will be cutting with concealer. Okay, Definition is key. Do not just go in with one light color and go in with concealer. Now that we're done the crease, we are going in concealer and we're going to cut this baby up so to cut my crease I'm going to be taking this white concealer by she cosmetics that I purchased from my local beauty supply store cost two dollars I'm just going to apply some on the back of my hand like I normally would with my LA girl changed the color I didn't even use secure no more I use excess which is a lighter uh, orangey shade it's more like a mustard color see you. once you do your cut crease if you feel like you lost the definition a little bit what you can do is use a pencil brush this look and I'm seeing if it calls for wing I think it does <laughs> 
So I'm gonna be taking my e.l.f. eyeliner. Hey y'all, what's up? I'm back. Um, I just did my base off camera just to speed things along a little bit. I specifically wanted this video just to be catered to eyes. And just remember what you do to the top, you want to do to the bottom. So I'm going to be taking this light pink shade right here and I'm going to be putting that on my bottom lash line. Now that I have the pink down, I'm going to move back into the Anastasia eyeshadow palette. The uh, Model Renaissance one. And I'm going to be taking Love Letter. Which is right here. I'm going to take a Love Letter. And I'm also going to put that on my bottom lash line. For the next shade, I'm going to be taking Rockstar and Mystic. And I'm going to blend those two together and put that tightly into my lash line. So for the lips, I'm going to be taking the Huda Beauty um, Matte Lipstick in the shade Trophy Wife. And I'm going to be taking Anastasia. And I'm going to be using the shade uh, Toffee. It's a gloss and a matte, so I'm going to put the matte and then the gloss on top. I'm going to mix them too. So this concludes the video, but before we end it all and say our goodbyes and our farewells, I want to go over a few quick steps just in case if you missed it or I talked too fast or I was rambling or you just didn't understand. So basically the steps that I take um, to create the best eyeshadow looks for myself, figure out your eye shape, that's one. Number two is understanding colors and how well things work together. And number three is going in a gradient effect and not starting from darkest to lightest. You always want to start off light handed and then go to the darkest color. And secondly is just, you know, just really taking your time, moving through brushes. If you come tighter into the crease with a darker color, Make the brush smaller, don't make it wider. When you're buffing out your crease with the first transition shade or the lightest shade that you're going to be using, use a more fluffier brush to really blend everything out. And then when you become tighter into the crease, you use a smaller brush. And for your lid, you want to use a flat packing brush, you know, to really get the color on to your lid. Helps to know the concealer that's under the eyeshadow as well if it's cracky crumbly it you know certain concealers don't always work well with certain eyeshadows if i must say so if you're using bright yellows or you know mustard colors like myself that i used in this video you want to go in with a white concealer so that the color has a better pay off and not only a better payoff but it will look better overall with your look i really hope you guys found this video helpful i hope you guys give it a like and a thumbs up please remember to subscribe and also remember to love yourself stay happy and stay blessed because you're more than worth it bye y'all <laughs>